We're going to examine how we can support additional loads into the framework of the foundation of a treehouse. Let's assume that we've correctly got the pins into the tree, the fasteners, and now, especially if we're remounting an existing treehouse, then we use an interfacing device that allows the tree to move torsionally. Trees, especially in a multiple tree installation, not only move torsionally, but they don't move together. So you have various degrees of freedom. They're like bad dance partners, you know, where one is doing the tango and one is doing the waltz. So that means we need to have some way for the system to move and flex. Finally, when you're mounting into an existing tree house and supporting it from below, you need some method to pull and cinch the load of the new system to lift it up in place and virtually pick up the entire treehouse with the new system. And that's what this uh, giant shear collar, um, oops. <laughs> that's fine. We can We'll pick it right there. Okay. Okay. This is a very robust shear collar and we've used these on uh, several cases where we've had to support uh, up to three-story tree houses in place and we have to lift up the entire tree house using the new system picking up the load off the old system so bolts like this are in compression or tension which moves the entire frame relative to the fasteners up against the building and this is kind of an exciting development because when people have invested a lot of time and money and their kids have grown up with it there's a real feeling of let's keep this thing going and we call such a treehouse a legacy treehouse something that's worth keeping going can be engineered from the beginning to do this however very few of them have been so it's kind of an exciting development to see we can come into a legacy treehouse and pick up the loads again and remount it using this system.